Hello guys, welcome to this video. Let's talk today about how to configure hard drive in a Hike Vision NVR or DVR. As you can see, I have here an NVR from Hike Vision with the hard drive. It's already here. And I also have here on the screen my menu. Okay, I have the mouse connected to the screen so I can control the menu. And I have this camera pointing to the Hike Vision NVR. Okay, so it's a DS7600 series, right? It's a Linux embedded NVR. And I have this camera connected to this NVR and also uh, another hike vision and it's good to go. And talking about the hard drive, that's the topic of this video. I have here a Seagate Skyhawk Lite. So you just need to connect the cables here. As you can see, I have the cable for data and also for power connect to the, to the hard drive and it's important to have the correct hard drive for surveillance cameras in this case Seagate Skyhawk Skyhawk Lite and I can also use Western Digital Purple okay correct hard drive don't use hard drive for PCs they don't work well here with surveillance system okay be aware of that make sure you have the correct hard drive otherwise you're gonna lose data you're gonna lose recording okay so back here to the screen let me just right click. I have the mouse connected here to the NVR. So I right click and I come here to the menu. And from here, the first thing that you do is draw your pattern here. Go to the menu and you go to the hard drive. Last menu here to the right side. And make sure that you have the hard drive detected. So you're going to see the capacity, the status, property, read and write, type free space. If you don't see that, that means your uh, NVR is not detecting the hard drive. I have another video here on the channel that I show uh, where you can check that, okay? How you can check that, how you can fix that. It's a very easy fix, but you need to make sure that you have at least the hard drive here and you can just click and format your hard drive. So initialize here, you just click and it confirms, you need to confirm. Initialization will erase all data on the hard drive. Continue, in this case, I'm assuming you are installing for the first time. You're configuring the hard drive in the Hike Vision NVR for the first time. Uh, NVR or DVR doesn't matter, it's also the same, okay. all right? So I just hit okay because I, I'm i sure I'm not losing any data for installation, for example, I hit okay. And start formatting the hard drive, so this is the initialization or formatting of your hard drive. So you go, it goes pretty fast and you're ready to go. Then I come back and if I go here to exit, I see that at, at first it's not recording because when start recording, I see a symbol here for recording if it's recording continuously, right? I just formatted the hard drive and I just come here to the menu and I come to the recording part, okay? And here, I'm gonna see the schedule for recording. See here, you have yellow lines, uh, red lines, uh, green lines, blue lines. And that means that you're going to record with continuous recording for the blue ones, event, yellow ones, motion, the green ones, and also have mix of them as well. Motion or alarm, motion and alarm as well. So. Today, for example, is Saturday. So I'm recording here with this green one, which means I'm recording by motion. So it's going to record only when there's motion in front of the camera. Okay, let me just come back here and see if there's some recording. I just formatted the hard drive, exit here, right click again and playback. And see, playback failed, no match record file, okay? So there is no file recorded here at this time because there's no motion, there's nothing here. So you see, there is no indication here for recording because I need to first make some recording there. So let me just hit OK. And remember, when I come back, remember that I have this set up for Saturday to record only by motion. So let's make some motion in front of the camera. Let's just approach the camera there and make some motion. And 
here you go. As you can see here, there is this symbol for motion. It stays there for a while and then, then it's going to disappear after some seconds. Let's say, I don't know, I need to configure it that, but after some seconds it disappears, you see? That means it's recording by motion, okay? At first it doesn't come like that. It, come, it comes different, okay? Let me just come back here to the menu, draw my pattern. So at first when you come here, it comes with this continuous one. So it starts recording out of the box. I just changed it this way just to show here in this video, but it comes like that. Let me just come back here uh, and see if it's recording right now. Playback, playback field, no match a record file. Still, I don't have it. It takes some time like, to update the recording there. So let me just come back again here and do this. Um, menu, record. And now Saturday, I'm gonna change to continuous here. Let me just paint a line. Here we go. And apply. Come back. Exit. And now it's going to record all the time. Oh, still not recording. Still not, don't, don't see the symbol here for recording. Okay, something's still wrong. I can double check that, but something is not working. Because when I put to record, you see it's recording by motion. It's detecting motion, but it's not recording because there's a symbol for recording when I see it. Uh, let me just uh, come back here to menu, double check. What I have here, hard drive, status is normal. I just formatted the hard drive. Let's come here to advance it. Here's just Coda for the cameras. Not gonna do anything here. Camera, okay, on here on camera, I have this option for motion. So motion is enabled to record. Okay, the sensitivity here as well. And then back to recording. For Saturday, I'm recording by continuous and it's enabled for the camera number one. I can do different, different for each camera, okay? And here on advanced, you need to check overwrite. That means it's going to uh, delete the old videos and record the new ones on the top of the, the the videos, right? So let me just click here, main recording. On for this camera, number one. Come back and here I see some recording, right? Let's just check now if it's working. So manual recording works like this. It's going to record all the time. Like continuously. And let me just come back, just wait a little bit. Exit here. Play back. And here we go. Now I have some motion. You see some small, a small green line here and also the blue one, which is for continuous recording. Okay. I'm just come back. Here's the menu. Record. And change this again to motion for Saturday. That's today. I oh, need to click here and paint. And here you go. Okay. Apply. And back. Okay, so now it's continuously recording because continue as recording by manual recording and also recording by motion. Let me just move my hand in front of the camera again. Here we go, it's just a symbol for recording. Exit. Come back to playback. And here we go, you see the green one again. And here I see the blue one indicating that today there's some recording here, okay? So I have continuous recording and also motion recording, okay? Let me just come back here and just come back to the menu and to the menu recording and disable menu recording here. And here I have the options to continuous recording and also to motion recording, okay? 
There we go. Now exit it again. And now there is no continuous recording, manually recording. There is just uh, recording by motion. Let me just move my hand again. And here we go. The symbol for motion again. So that's the best way. Always record here by motion. Then you save space on your hard drive and also record for a longer period of time, right? I just try to play back again and see takes a while just a tiny bit to show up here okay here we go my hand in front of the camera so it's basically working here on motion you see the green line here where my my hands are right now okay so pretty good so uh to summary you just need to come here to the menu and install your, install your hard drive. Make sure it's here. You initialize the hard drive or format the hard drive. You come to this part here on the record. You select the way you want to record. Motion is better. Okay, if you want to record manually, you can also come to the camera and record manually. But you can also come here to the vest and put over white, over right to record always, no matter the amount of hard drive you have is going to fill the hard drive with all your recording okay and you're good to go okay and guys that's the way you can configure your hard drive at the first time to make uh, everything work and record okay and i hope you like this video please subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up in your comments and i see you in the next one